All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add leading zeros in front of your numbers in Excel and in Google Sheets. Let's say this is the format I need. I need to do 000332. So if I go here and type 000332 and hit enter, because it's a number, it's going to drop those leading zeros. It just keeps the number. So if you need that to be in this format, there are a couple of different ways to do that. And that really depends on the result you're looking for. So one of the ways to do it is by just applying formatting. So the way you do it with formatting, you select the cell or cells. So actually let's do a few different ones here. So I need this to be in this format. It has to be six digits and any digits in front that are not available should just say zero. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select these numbers. You have to do custom formatting. So you can do that by either going here under this formatting box and going under more number formats, or you could get to the same thing by just right clicking here and going under format cells. It's the same thing. So once I'm in this box here, I'm going to do custom formatting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under custom and then it's going to ask me the formatting. I'm going to erase what's here. That's currently general and I'm going to replace it with one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So the number of total digits that I need. If you need like 10 digit number with zeros, you do 10 zeros. I'm just gonna do six and I'm gonna press okay. And you'll see how it adds those leading zeros in front of it. So the same thing, if you had to do this in Google Sheets. So these are my numbers. You would select this, go under format, go under number. And if you scroll all the way down, you have more formats and custom number format. And here as a custom number format, you do exactly the same thing. Zero, 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 zero. Press apply. And that's going to give you this. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this is that even though we can see these leading zeros in front of this, this is good for visual but these are not really leading zeros in front of this. So if you were trying to do some sort of VLOOKUP, it would not match them up because the formatting makes it look like we have leading zeros. But the real value behind the scenes is still what it was before. It's still this number, 34, 332. Because for a number, no matter what you do, there is no reason to keep leading zeros in front. So the only way you really have leading zeros without that formatting is by having text. So the way you can enter a value as text in spreadsheets is by starting with an apostrophe. So if I do apostrophe, then type 00456, I hit enter, you'll see it will keep those zeros. But now this is no longer a number, this is text. And that's the only way you can really have zeros. And the same thing works in Google Sheets. So you go here and do apostrophe 00789. I hit enter. You'll see it keeps the zeros. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that once I type with this apostrophe, the final result is aligned to the left of the cell here. And in Excel too, if I go back to my Excel file, it's also aligned to the left. It also has this little green thing in Excel. And this green basically tells you that, look, this thing looks like a number, but this is text. So it's just a warning. So you could click here and see in Excel, there is this thing that you could just convert it to number. Now, if I do convert it to number, it will lose those zeros because it will become a number and it will become four, five, six. I'm going to undo that. But you could also just, if you don't want to look at those green arrows, you could just go here and do ignore error. And then it's just text. So that's one way to do this. You could just apostrophe in spreadsheet means whatever I'm typing after this is text, which means, for example, to give you a couple of examples of this, if I do something like 12 14, I hit enter, it's going to think this is a date. Now, if I didn't want that to be a date, I can do apostrophe 12 dash 14 and now it's text and it's going to stay exactly the way I was typing it. The same way if you're writing a formula, you have to start with an equal sign and do something like sum and whatever, right? This is going to be your formula. And if I did this, 
that would sum up all of that. Now, if I didn't want this to be a formula, I just want this to be text in my spreadsheet. I start with an apostrophe and then it will just write it as text. Another way to do this, if you don't want to do one by one for each cell like this and type this apostrophe zero or something, you can just first take the column wherever you are planning to type those numbers, select the area and switch it from general to text. And once I switch this column to be text, then I can go here and type zero and type my numbers and see now it's text automatically. So it just works. So I don't have to do the apostrophe because it knows it's text. And again, you could do the same thing in Google Sheets. So you select, go here as a format and do plain text. And now it's text. So now if I go and type something with zeros, it's going to know that these are supposed to be texts. So it will keep those zeros in front and it will work just fine. So the final thing I'm going to show you is how to take something that's originally is a number and convert it to text with zeros in front. So I'm going to delete all this stuff really quickly. And that goes to that same custom formatting trick. So when we selected this, I did that right click format cells and I did that custom formatting with zeros to do that format I need. But that is doing the formatting, but it's not actually applying a text value in a cell. Now the way around this is the function text. So if you use this function, what do you do? You do text, click on the number, comma, and then in quotes, you provide the formatting. So if I do that same thing I did before, like 000, 000, 000, 000 six zeros, right? I hit enter, see it will give me this. And if I drag it down, now this is text. So now if I was doing some sort of VLOOKUP or something, this would actually work with these values because these are actual text values applied in a cell instead of just formatting. And just to show you, if I take these now and just format them the same way and do custom 000000, 000, 000 see how it kind of looks the same, but you can tell there is a difference because this one is aligned to the right because we just applied some nice design to our numbers. And this one is aligned to the left. This is the value in there. It's text value. So this way you can actually convert to real text value by using this text function. And if you didn't want to keep the formula in there, you could just select these and copy and just right click and paste with values option. And this way, see now it's all like with that green thing, it's basically telling me these are all text. There is no formula here in the cells anymore, but these are basically text values. And again, if you don't want those greens, you can select all of this, click here and do ignore error. And again, the same thing you could do in Google Sheets. So if I take these and convert them to automatic, I can do equals text and click on this and then provide my format in quotations. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, if you wanted like a 10 digit thing, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now it should be a lot more leading zeros. And if I drag it down, you'll see it adds it for all of them. And again, now it is a formula. If I don't want these to be formulas and I just want text values in a cell, again, you could just copy this and then you could just paste with values only. And now these are not formulas and it's just text. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.